Thank you guys for getting it ready. Ah, I like that. Now panic and freak out. I love that. <laughs> so hey, we're going to start because it's 5 o'clock. It's Watch Me Work. Woohoo! I know we start the only show in New York that starts on time. Because um, <laughs> we're writers. <laughs> um, and I'm Susan White Parks, and thank you guys for all coming. For those of you, yay for you guys. For those of you who haven't been here before and haven't heard me say this, hi again, haven't heard me say this before, um, this is Watch Me Work, which is two things, uh, and Drew will correct me if I forget. Um, Watch Me Work is a meta theatrical free writing workshop. Watch Me Work is also a play. And the action of the play goes like this. For 45 minutes, we will do the action together. And then for about 15 minutes or so, we will do the dialogue. Okay, so it's, it's a free writing class and it's a play. The me in the title is you, so the dialogue after the work uh, session is going to be about your work and your writing process. Okay, not mine, but yours. And um, we're live streaming, so for folks on Twitter who want to tweet in some questions, Drew has the address. Yes, if you tweet us at WatchMeWorkSLP with the hashtag NewPlay. Well, at watch me work at SLP. at watch me work SLP. That's hard to remember. At watch me work SLP. With the hashtag. Hashtag new play. New play. Okay. I don't even know my own phone number anymore. But okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna work for 45 minutes and then we're gonna talk and uh, it'll be fun. Okay. And we're gonna do the clocks because I don't think this one works anymore. We'll try it. I'll pretend. It I know. It's it's a visual. It's a visual thing. Okay, uh, start working now. Work now.
<laughs> Very good. All right, that's our time. That's our action time. So now um, we'll do questions about your work. Your work, your creative process. What's going on with you? I'm um, Anybody have any questions? I sometimes wonder about productivity and what an average speed is or what it ought to be because I feel like I tend to work really slowly compared to um, maybe compared to most writers. I've seen so many writing coaches and such say that just you know write and write and write and write and then rewrite later and I can't do that especially if I'm working on a piece of verse. I write a few words and then I revise those words and then I move on. So you know and I mean it doesn't really matter in the end. I, I guess not, but I. I wonder if there's a way to be more productive that I just don't get yet, you know, I don't know. Well, um, I mean, I'm one of those horrible writing coaches that says, write, 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 yeah. write later. Um, write, 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 we like write later unless it doesn't work for you. Yeah. And it doesn't work for you, so don't do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, it's just um, so I think probably what you found is the way that you write. Yeah. He's talking about productivity. What's your name? Everett. Everett. So Everett's talking about productivity. And how can he write more? Yeah. Faster? I know, that's the great question. There are two questions like, how do we write more faster? And how do we keep from not going crazy? Right. Right. I mean, that's yeah. like, that's basically, it all boils down to like that. Pretty right? much, yeah. um, I would say maybe look at the, look at your career like long, big yeah. picture. Long haul, right? right? So do you write every day? That's what yeah, I mean, I try to. Okay. Okay, so you write every day. You put something on the page every day. Okay, so think of, um, you have a, um, a bank account? Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I don't want the numbers. <laughs> yeah, I can you give me your car? No, um, just cause, because um, it's, it's a compounded interest. Right? Sure. So what you're just going to do is you're going to write every day. And instead of one of those people who like dumps a whole big wad of money in their bank account, you know, and has like a lot of money right away, and you're like winning the lottery like yeah. overnight, right? You're going to be slowly accruing interest. So your, uh, what's on your side is that you're steady, you do it every day, or try to pretty yeah. much, right? Yeah. And you're steadily building the body of work. Yeah. Okay? So you're not like quick, fast, instant gratification, flash in the pan. And part of it is we have to get comfortable with who we are. I mean, that's another thing. Right. So it's how to write faster, better, and more, how not to go crazy, and how to be comfortable with who we are. Right? Essentially, yeah. I mean, when I look at, when I look at my bigger projects, like my, uh, my long-term projects, it's, um, and they're in progress. And right. they've been in progress for three months, six months, or whatever. And it's sort of, it, it, I mean, it's hard to say, if it's hard to say when a project will be done, then it's hard to, even if I'm working on it every day and just chipping away, it's like, when's the, when's the thing going to finally appear? And so it can right. get frustrating. So maybe that's another, maybe that's a different question. So it, in this method that you have of working, you kind of go, oh, when's it going to be done already, right? Yeah. So this is what you can do, and it might feel like unnatural, but so many good things are. <laughs> um, I mean, natural isn't you know the bar that we all ascribe to, right? But what what is that? Right. Um, but it might feel forced, is what I'm saying, right? Okay. Make a deadline. Yeah. Make a deadline for yourself. So you're working on something, and you say, okay, I'm going to be finished. I'm going to cross the finish line at. And you you decide, you know, if you're working on it just for yourself. Yeah. I do that all the time. I say I'm gonna be done by then, you know? And I hit it and good. You know, I try to get it done by that date. Yeah. Or close to it. And that does give you because you know, some things you can spend the rest of your life working on some things. And if you don't want to, no, you no, wanna do many things. Necessarily because you wanna get it out there. Exactly, you wanna get it out there. So you have to impose a deadline and it might feel kind of yeah. not natural, whatever, but 
know, I think there's a law, a law, which is weird because it's called Parkinson's law. Um, I know I didn't do the, you know, but it says work, um, work, uh, work, work extends to the time allotted to it. Right, work extends to the time allotted to it. So if you say like, if you say I'm going to give myself a week, it might well take you a week. If you say I'm going to give myself a month, it will take you a month. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. So try that maybe. Okay. Say, you know, if you have a project like right now, you say, I want it. And be realistic, don't like, you know, I want to be done tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But right. set yourself a deadline and work steadily to meet that deadline. Okay. And if you have to put in more hours or write faster, yeah. less control, right? Maybe messy writing, some yeah. of it's messy. Let's see if that. See but if, if you works. get somewhere with it, then you get somewhere. Huh? If you get somewhere with it, then you get somewhere with it. If you get. I mean, if, if progress is progress, basically. Is exactly. And, and never, you know, I mean, put, you're putting the time in, you know what I mean? Which yeah. is the most important thing. writing that feels like separate too and I'm like struggling and I, and none of them have any expectations around them either they're just things I'm working on right what's your name question Lee. Lee so you have Lee has several different projects and she feels like she wants to work on them all at once yes all at once at the same all time you can do that
the discipline comes in. It's where the, you know, do you do a, a sport or a, do you go to the gym or anything like that? Do you do a sport? Well, I'm not, I have a dance class. You go to a dance class. Well, how often? Two or three times. Two or three times a week. So, two or three times a week, you haul your ass up, out of your, off your couch, let go of your control or whatever. I mean, I don't have to, but you know, I imagine I'm sitting there, right? Or push away from Facebook, you know, and, and go to your dance class. It's a discipline, right? Okay. You have to apply the same, it's a transferable skill discipline. So you have to say, I am going to just pick one thing to work on until it's completion. And what you're missing, I think, is faith. That's, faith is, I think, sticky. I'm just making this up right now, but I feel that. <laughs> it's sticky, you know what I mean? Faith, um... Uh, I don't know the club. It, it, it's, it's gooey. And so you, you're drawn to things. You believe in something, a project, and you're drawn to it, and it kind of stinks like, you know, it kind of holds on to you and draws you back continually, right? So you have to feel a belief in it. You know, it's like a relationship. You like that person, you're with them, you want to be with them, kind of thing, right? So you have to pick one thing, pour some energy into it, put some time into it, put the other things aside, make a list, put it on a, you know, write it on an index card, stick it on your wall. This is the next project. Do it. Do it. Give yourself, what, a month to work on one project, and then go to the next one. You know, instead of, or keep doing this. You might like doing that, you know, great, but it doesn't sound like, focus. Maybe not right now, maybe I don't like doing that. Yeah, focus, or give yourself a, a, a week. Focus on this one project for a week, and then I'm going to go to the next. I've done things like that. I've, I've written two screenplays at once, but I wrote one, one week one, and then I switched to another one week two, and I switched back and forth and got them both done in a certain in a certain amount of time. Okay, so just you just focus. Yes. When you, this is about like production stuff more than writing. Is that okay? Sure. Um, when you're working with the director, like the first time you meet, like what are some of the questions that you ask a director? When I'm working with a director, what are some questions that I would ask a director? Yeah. Um, it, when I'm working with a director, I'm trying to think. It depends on the project. I mean, I mean, it's someone you know. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. So, because we're, we're talking about you. Yeah, he's right down there. He's right down there. Wow. <laughs> you, so you know him. You're about to embark on a on a production. Yep. And you have faith in this person. Absolutely. You're drawn to him because faith is gooey. And you. Um, he, he has read the script. I don't know. He should be asking you the questions. Cool. Yeah. I mean, you, have you cast the play yet? One person. Okay, great. So you're gonna you're building your cast. You have one person. You're building the cast to work with this one person. And he, I mean, have him ask you questions. Talk about your play. Make sure you're kind of on the same page as you know, far as understanding the play goes before you get in front of the actors. Maybe establish if you haven't worked with them before. How are we going to talk about our play? You know, how if, if you have a disagreement, how do you want to handle it in front of the actors? You don't want to have a smackdown in front of your actors. Um, you might tell them your style in rehearsal and get a feeling of, for his style in rehearsal. Okay, so like that. But but talk about your play. Make sure that you don't assume just because he's read it that he gets it, like you get it. Don't don't assume. Right? Okay. Did you know what that leads to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have a conversation. Have lots of coffee dates. Uh, you want to have a drink? Go, yeah. Well, we're out in Bob Ackerman. Yes. I, I have a pretty specific question. Yeah. Um, I've come up with this idea over the last few days about taking four of my one act plays right. together to the Right. And the last night I saw a big guy saw all the time. Uh huh. Oh, that, that could work. Right. Oh, great, great. All right. So now she asked about the idea of that. Right. Meanwhile, though, one of these one acts is something I'm also working on developing the full play. And now I'm wondering, is it a mistake to do this? Because if, if both of these took off, right. one day the audience is going to be both of these. Wait a second. I already saw this and that. Right. 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 That's a great question. That's something I should do. No. Well, what, what's your name? William. William. That's good. <laughs> no, William. Okay, okay. Last no. name is Shakespeare. Yeah, Last right. name is Shakespeare. <laughs> no, William. So William has your question. So he's got four one acts. He wants to combine them, and he really has a feeling that it would work and be a lot of fun. But he's also.
you know what I mean? So it just is part of it. It's part of it. You'll be open soon. But stick to your guns. Don't, don't let anybody kick you around just because they're the director. Okay. getting back into a project that you put aside for a, a longer period of time because you were busy working on it. Any tricks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how long, how long, uh, getting back into a project that you put aside for a while, how long did you put aside? Since the first watch we were. Wow, so when was that? I can't remember. A couple of years, I guess a couple of years. A couple I was of doing years. other things. You were doing other things? when I was doing adapting. Oh right. Okay. So you you were working on that. You put it aside to work on other things. Work on things. Yeah. Great. And now you're coming back to it. Yeah. So what's what's really good is that you didn't put it aside and not do anything. That's really good because you kept. You know, it's like yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you stopped swimming, but you were running. So the muscles are still happy. So that's good. Just put the time in. Put the time in. And again, it's one of those. Ricardo's at the finish line. You know, you're at the starting line. It's icky and weird and fucked up and strange. You know, it's gonna feel. Like together to read a piece for the first time just to hear it. Right. Any tips on how to make the most productive use of your ears and your time to get the most out of it? Are you doing it in your house? Probably, yeah. Snacks? Of course, always. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> um, have they, will they have read it beforehand? 
I could or could not. You could, you could, uh, I mean, you cast it already, right? They all know what part they're playing. Do they know each other? Probably, yeah. Okay, so you might give it to them beforehand, so unless they're really good cold readers. People who can read it right off the page and boom, take the character. If they're not, they're like, maybe they need to read it once and kind of get a take, mm -hmm. an idea of what yeah. the character's going to be. But a lot of actors like to read it once beforehand. So you can email it to them, ask them not to send it all around, okay? Email it to the PDF so that the document won't, you know, change in transit. And um, have them read it before. And then show up having, have, at least give them the opportunity to read it. They might not have the time. But give them the opportunity to read it. And then, and maybe just a few can email them. If you, if you have any questions, email me. Or, or here are some thoughts that I had. Or invite a little bit of conversation beforehand. So that if you have, say, three hours to reading in your home, you can just jump right in. Okay, a little pre-planning.